In this video, we'll find the number of protons and electrons for Ag+. This is the silver cation. So we go to the periodic table here, and first let's just look at silver. For silver, it has an atomic number of 47. So we can put an atomic number of 47 for silver in here. The atomic number, that equals the number of protons. So Ag will also have 47 protons. When we talk about ions, and this here's a neutral element, the only difference is going to be in the number of electrons here. So we could write 47 as the atomic number for Ag+, and that would mean the number of protons would be 47 as well. It's the electrons that's going to be different with an ion. For silver, there's no negative or positive sign after it on the periodic table. It's a neutral element. When we have a neutral element, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. 47 protons, 47 electrons. And that makes sense. The negatives and the positives, they balance out, give you a neutral element. For silver, though, we've lost one electron. And since electrons are negative, if you lose that electron, you have a positive charge. So we're going to remove one electron here from the neutral silver. So instead of 47, we get 46. And now we have that positive charge. It's important to understand that when an atom loses an electron, negative charge, it becomes positive. The atom that receives that electron, it gets the negative charge. It becomes a negative ion. If you need help finding the number of neutrons for the different isotopes of silver, there's a link in the description of this video to help. This is Dr. B with the number of protons and electrons in Ag+, the silver ion. Thanks for watching.